What is poppin' everybody? You got Count Riario here. Today I'm uh, doing a nice and guest narration for uh, Dark Ridge, obviously. Um, I'm actually narrating Lax versus Meeps, uh, which is interesting because I haven't seen this fight myself yet either. Um, even though I, uh, looking at the teams right now, I really love Meeps' team. It looks a lot like a team I would use. Um, Lax has a Lycanroc Dusk, which is rarely ever seen, which is interesting. Um, anyway, let's... Uh, Let's hop into what happens, and I'm gonna start playing it while I commentate it. Um, so, looking at the matchup, heal disc. It's interesting. This is the first week. It's actually allowed. Uh, looks like a big, big threat to Lax. Um, depending on what the Silvali is, like if the Sil Silvali could be something that you know has a decent matchup for it, which isn't too <laughs> much, uh, because he he would need something like a ground tap, right? Because heal disc can keep Volt switching on him. Um, which which lacks really hates where the frick is his ground uh, his electric resist there's literally none that's crazy um meeps also changed his name to cba jose altuve or something i don't know what it's pronounced uh but i'm gonna keep calling it meeps just for future references uh, i'm also gonna ignore these nicknames um steelix should have should easily have the matchup here versus the lycan rock uh it he also needs the steelix in order to wall the scythe to the best but he does have a cling clang um Celic is actually a really good matchup versus Lex overall. Um, you could assume that Lex is going to want to go out to Zatu, which means Meeps doesn't want to set up rocks. Um, they run uh, a very offensive Lex generally though, so as he goes to Embor on the Heavy Slam, which makes sense, but was kind of risky at the same time because if he did just Earthquake, then boom. And now he doubles to the Zatu on the Earthquake, which is insane because. Uh, if he flare blitz, whoa, 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 it's going a little bit f fast for what I want to say. If it was banned at flare blitz, then it actually might have knocked out Steelix depending on its bulk. Uh, Steelix immediately went for Earthquake though, so I'm assuming he knew he would live this. And Lax immediately went into Zato knowing either Earthquake or Rocks were going up, um, or Slowbird was coming in, all of which uh, Zato had a good matchup for us. So he went into Zato on Earthquake, he immediately clicks the U-turn. There's no Sniz on the team, so he wasn't in that much for, uh, you know, danger. But the biggest danger was, of course, this thing coming in, the heal disc. If he didn't U-turn and the heal disc came in, then he could have Volt Twitched and he could have done a great chunk to one of Lax's mons. So I, I, I definitely uh, agree with this U-turn play for sure. Um, he has multiple things he could go out into after the U-turn. His most probable ones would be something like uh, Lycanroc or maybe a Scarf Scyther. Let's see what he does. U-turn does a decent amount ish too, like 23% because Helisk Fist Death Walk is not much at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming he's gonna want to go to either like a rock or Silvalli or Scarf Scyther if, if it is Scarf, and he can U-turn on it. Um, if this is Scarf Helisk though, your Scyther could die. He does go to like a rock midnight. Yeah, midnight. I'm calling it dusk, but it's not. It's midnight. It's it's a dark. For, it's it's not dark, but it's dark for him. It is a no guard one. The Midnight, okay, I'm sorry. I call it Dusk, <laughs> the Midnight one. Um, he could just Stone Ridge here, doesn't really matter. He gets up the rocks, which makes sense, but they don't hit Meep's team hard at all. He literally resists it with three mons, and the other ones don't really care. Um, as the Slowbro is now in, his best Slowbro check would be his own Slowbro. He could go out into Zato first to scout for a Toxic, because Slowbros do tend to carry Toxic in order to wall other Slowbros. Uh, what Meeps could do is, is double out into Helisk as well, predicting him to go into either Zatu or Slowbro. He just throws off a skull, does not get the burn on the Savali Steel. Uh, it makes sense that the Savali is Steel, uh, because it that's basically the best defogger there is right now. Goes for the party shot on the Toxicroak, gets in his Slowbro again. I'm assuming this is Psy Shock then. Uh, because some of them don't, I'm pausing to make sure I get this in, uh, they don't have to be Psyshock for the record. They could just be Calm Mind, Scald, Toxic, and uh, Slack Off. Uh, sorry, did I just say Slack Off twice? Calm Mind, Scald, Slack Off, and uh, Toxic, for example. That's a moveset. Um, but most of them do carry Psyshock, and I'm assuming that Meeps is going uh, gonna to scout for it right here. Uh, he can't really go into Helisk because Psyshock, I'm pretty sure, will kill it off the rocks. Its Fizz Death is really, really weak. He doesn't really have a good switch into Slowbro either way on his team, to be honest. He definitely can't go to Ebor. He could try to go out into Slowbro of his own. He does go Helisk. Does he just Psyshock? He doubles the Tuvali Steel. Interesting, interesting. I felt like uh, Psyshock didn't really have any 
that sucks. Didn't really have any, uh, you know, bad things happening right there. Um, the focus blast there sucked that it quit because uh, it might have mattered, depending on the book that it run. Um, either way, his defogger is gone now. His steel type, which he could have used to wall the clink lang, depending on if it has flamethrower, which some of them do, some of them don't. Um, but yeah, this Edelisk has just taken it out immediately. As I said at the beginning, this thing was a huge threat. One of the reasons I think his Slowbro should have side shocked always. You cannot let this thing in. It appears that his Scyther is indeed Scarfed and he's gonna go for U-turn. Because why else would you bring it in like that? Goes for the U-turn on the Steelix, he gets in Zatu again. Probably gonna U-turn again? Because, once again, he cannot... I, I said again like five, 15 times there. He cannot let Edelisk come in for free. As he goes into Slowbro, which makes sense, does he U-turn again? He Nightshades. I can see why, because the you know the, the switch in the, the U-turn was so obvious. He goes for U-turn right now though. He can go to Slover or Embor. It doesn't really matter. Celix is still going back to full every time. Now goes back into Zato, hoping he'd catch him on the rocks. No such luck. Goes to, to Slowbro, Goes for U-turn, probably into his own Slowbro. Yes. As he goes for Scald, he hopes to get a burn here so he doesn't get toxic, but he doesn't get it. Please tell me you saw shocked or toxic. Or fire blasted. Okay, I was gonna say, please don't let him, <laughs> don't let him get in like four times with the heat of this. Uh, fire blasted slow bro is actually really uncommon. I'm interested to see that he has that. Uh, that's probably the reason he didn't click Sashok earlier on Dux Uh He didn't have it. That's a good reason. Funnily enough, um, if this slow bro is both scald and um, scald and fire blast, then there's a <laughs> then there's a pretty good chance that he doesn't wall this slowbro too well because Scald and Fire Blast then you're either Calm Mind and you're not really beating a slowbro um, or like three attack slack off maybe I don't know I would you run Toxic with Fire Blast I don't see it happening Fire Blast is usually run on something like Slow King which is AV but hmm so slowbro versus slowbro once again I want to see if one of them is Toxic Lax can scout first once again by going into Zatu doesn't really lose too much by it. Um, it could also stay in, maybe fire off attack, see what uh, Meeps want to do. If Meep wants to double, then he can't really. A fire blast is his only way of, uh, of killing the Toxic Oak, by the way. Then he has to preserve the PP for sure. Now, this slower is a huge threat to Lax right now. He does go out to scout for the Toxic as he goes for the Command, which makes sense because. Um, he knew that Lax had to scout for the Toxic there because his slowbro was his slowbro was his only slowbro check. So otherwise, this slowbro would basically get a kill by just clicking his call every time. Uh, Zatu can't really touch it unless it's Toxic himself. Grassnut could be a thing, but after Calm Mind, Grassnut doesn't do too much. So the Calm Mind was a very safe play there, especially because it already showed Fire Blast. He stays in with the Zatu. Uh, it gets burned, but as you can see, it already does about half. And Nightshade doesn't do too much. The U-turn does nothing, especially with the burn. Goes to Lycorog on the slack off. Okay, he gets that play right at least. And he does have Toxic on it, which is really good for him. But it d dies to a plus one scald. So now his own Slowbro can stall out the Slowbro. So this, which is what he really needed. He goes into this though to get some chip off of U-turn. Makes sense. And then he goes into his own. Throws off a scald with Slowbro, doesn't do much at all. And now this Slowbro can basically keep clicking scald. He does reveal to be Psyshock, which is interesting. I was wondering if he had it for the Toxic Oak. He probably clicked it there in order to uh, catch a Toxic Oak. As he scolds on the whew, on the Scyther coming in. I understand why Lax made that play because either Slowbro died uh, and you're basically fine with Scyther anyway, but it's still nice to have it for every lace. Um, or he switched and you would get the initiative with Scarf U turn anyway. So it it was a fine play, but the skull burn would have been pretty bad for him because uh, even though it's not doing much damage right now at all, it does keep keep on giving him momentum with the U-turn, and um, and it's still a threat in order to outpace and kill both the Embor and the uh, Toxic Rogue, regardless of whether the scarf if this is scarf of course it doesn't speed him. Scyther is really fast. Does immediately click U-turn? I'm assuming goes into Slowbro. No. Wow on the heavy slap. This man, okay, this man went into <laughs> Embor on Steelix twice. Uh, usually you see either Zatu or Slowbro with this kind of team to be the switch in on the thing. So I, I completely understand why he goes into this, because he's not earthquaking when there's a Zatu uh, on the other side. He's not getting up rocks because there's a Zatu on the other side. But still, he went hard into this twice and I, 
I commend his uh, his guts for that. And now he clicks Z Flare Blitz, I'm assuming, or is it Superpower? Yes, doesn't kill, does it? Ooh! Yo, Embor is powerful, dude. Uh, goes hard into Toxic Rogue, which is <laughs> interesting to say the least. Um, he can't really SD up on this Embor. Embor can click Flare Blitz. Um, Life Orb Gunk Shot should kill this. So it's kind of a it's kind of a what what does Lax do at this point? Because I'm not really sure how much uh, Slowbro uh, how badly it's gonna want to take uh, a Gunk Shot, especially with Life Orb, or maybe even SD into uh, SD into something into like Gunk Shot. So let's see what he wants to do. He does go immediately to Zatu to, to scout what he wants to do. It is Sludge Bomb, so it is a nasty plot set. I'm assuming, which Slowbro does not well. <laughs> it tanks one hit, yes, but oh, and he stays into Sex enough to. Fire Blast. Fire Blast was a no drawback play. I agree with that. Um, I do think he needs to keep the slower around though, because even if it's Scarf Scyther, it's not going to touch the Clink Clang, and Clink Clang can win uh, uh, as long as Slowbro is around. <laughs> so he has to switch here, and I'm not really sure what he wants to switch out into. His own Embor can kick up, pick up KOs with uh, Superpower right now. So is he going to go out to Scyther here? I feel like if he sacks this, that he loses to Clink Clang. So he can't really do that. Unless he... Okay, so what he could do with sacking this is sack this right now to the Embor, then go into Scyther, U-turn on the Clink Clang, then click the superpower to kill something off, but that's also not an easy play, because you're, you're gonna have to U-turn on, on the prediction. So, what does he do? He does decide to switch out into Scyther, I agree with that, on the wild charge, which is fair. And what he could do here is either Air Slash or U-turn. If he locks himself into Air Slash, uh, sorry, Air Slash, um, Aerial Ace, Aerial Ace, my bad. If he locks himself with the Aerial Ace and Meeps does go out into Clink Clang, then he's in a bit of trouble. Uh, which is why I think Meeps should actually stay in here, because even if this Scyther does end up uh, going for Aerial Ace and you die, then you get to set up with your Clink Clang. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what this Scyther is going to do right now, but I feel like his play is always Aerial Ace, and Meeps play is always just to stay in. If it has Sucker Punch, you can go for that. Uh, we don't know what kind of M board this is just yet. Um, Either way, if this Clink Clang gets to uh, Shift Gear Up, then it could potentially still win if it is the Wild Charge. And we still haven't seen the Z move from Me Meeps, if I remember correctly. We have seen Z from uh, Embor on Lax's side, but I think that's it. So, he goes for Wild Charge once again. He is faster. Apparently, it wasn't Scarf side, which is interesting. I haven't seen the damage, so I haven't calculated whether it was bad or whatever. Um, but it's interesting to say the least that he. Uh, it didn't get knocked off, they didn't know. Not that I know of. That he wasn't Scarf. So now he goes out to his, into his Embor, gets well charged again. Which gets super powered, and now this is a minus one Embor. And I think minus one Embor might still have a chance to knock this out with Flare Blitz. Um, either way, I think you always go for Shift Gear here if you're Meeps, but uh, maybe not because <laughs> I'm assuming that uh, if Flare Blitz doesn't kill it, he could also go for super power into Shock Sucker Punch uh, because it's basically the same power. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm not really sure if Clink Clang is going to lift this. And even, like, if he does kill this while the Embor tries to go for an attack, then he still has to try to kill a slower, which is hard as a Clink Clang. Uh, it could still be Z Wild Charge, though. We, we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen the Z move. If it's Z Wild Charge, he might maybe have a chance. And also, the Slowbro could miss Fire Blast or not bar Scarf Burn. So, uh, Meep still has a chance, but it's a small one at this point. He goes for the frustration immediately, exactly, because he does not, he cannot afford to take the hit. Now, if he has wall charge here, I'm pretty sure um, it has a chance to do it KO at this point. It might. <laughs> um, it's probably not even a roll. But uh, if it is he wall charge, then he can hope that Slowbro misses Fire Blast, and as he wall charge into wall charge, should kill it off. So. He's gonna go for frustration. Does not have the wall charge, which means this Slowbro should just win it. He misses uh, the Fire Blast, which sucks. He goes for the Z move, which is the Corkscrew Crash is not going to do that much. Did he slack off here? No, he just Fire Blasted. That's an uh, interesting play. I guess it's fine, since it killed anyway. And Lax actually ends up beating Meeps in a very tight game, as you can see, 1-1 one, one left with 28%. Um, I figured his uh, Clink Clang was Z move, but uh, what I didn't figure actually was that the, scar that the Scyther wasn't Scarf. I'm really curious as to what it was. I'm assuming a Violet then. Oh, oh, my bad. Apparently Doc wanted to see... Uh, want to see the standings between the Tyrants and the Off of Runners. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, as long as the Slowbro was kept in the back, the Clink Clang couldn't win, unless it was Z Wild Charge, which it did not turn out to be. Uh, Z Wild Charge isn't really that...
common. I'd like to see easy, I'd like to say the gear grind is or what's the what's the move? It's gear grind, right? Well, war screw crash anyway. It's a way more popular one because it nabs a lot of KOs. Um, either way, I think that if Meeps had played his healer list a little bit better this matchup, that he could have very easily won the, the game. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentating. Uh, thanks, Doc, for letting me commentate on this one. Uh, I really love commentating, and you and you is uh, and you is my favorite here. So. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to Darkerich, and I will see you next time. Later!